Hey you guys, it's Kaylee. I am back with another thrift haul. I've got a ton of stuff to show you. This is actually stuff that someone else thrifted for me. So it's one of my wholesalers. Uh, they are not public, so I won't share their information with you. Um, but just some of the stuff that we've been picking up. It is a mixture of nicer stuff, higher end stuff, and also bread and butters. I'm excited to share with you guys some more of the like wholesale finds because after posting that interview uh, with Sean and Bethany, I've been getting a ton of questions about it. Um, so we do buy bread and butter as well. Actually, some of my wholesalers are like exclusively just bread and butter, um, but you know, their prices are also a lot lower because of that, but it's all stuff that they're picking up from the bins. Um, so this is a mixture, like I said, of bread and butter, some higher end stuff and yeah. But it is what I am buying right now for this season. Um, and also some things might be thrown in there that are a little bit like more summery, um, but I still expect could sell within the season that we are in. Before we dive into today's thrift haul, I wanna take a big moment to thank a sponsor of my channel, which is GRO Pack. I just got the shipment from GRO Pack and I thought I would unbox it with you guys and tell you a little bit about them. So GRO Pack is a shipping supplies website. They have really great customer service, fantastic reviews, free shipping on their orders. And the website is just very clean and simple, which I know a lot of you guys appreciate. Their prices are just crazy good for what you are getting. So you basically go on and you decide, do you want poly mailers, bubble mailers, one of the gift bags? You choose your color, you choose your size, and you choose your quantity. And it's really that simple. There's not a whole lot of headache. And one of the things I really love about GRO Pack is that they offer huge discounts for bulk quantities. Most of the time when I'm ordering from other sites, I can only get like max two, maybe 500. With GRO Pack, you can order uh, so much more and you get a huge discount for doing that. So the size I use the most is the 10 by 13. It is what fits like almost everything that's in my inventory system, except for uh, the larger stuff, but they do have have bags for stuff like that, which I also use, but we mostly restock the 10 by 13s, which all of these ones are. This is just one of their cute little purple ones. I also got this corally color um, because Nikki is obsessed with this. It's called a peach pink. So I ordered these. Another one of the printed daisies. And also these teal bags, which these are interesting because they've kind of got a little bit of texture on them, which I don't know. It's really cool. It feels very strong. So yeah, got all of these mailers. Excited to use them. Um, I needed a restock order, so I'm glad that these came in. We go through so many poly mailers, so I really appreciate a company that I can order in a big bulk and really save some money. If you guys are interested in checking out GRO Pack for your own shipping supplies, then head on over to their website. The link is down below exclusively for my viewers, as well as a coupon code Kaylee Elaine for 10% off of your first purchase. And that's a really good deal because their prices are already incredibly low. So thank you so much to GRO Pack for sponsoring my channel. I could not be more happy with the quality of the products and just, yeah, the price. All right, so diving in here, we have some sweaters. This one is by Joss A. Banks. Not typically a brand I get, but it is 100% cashmere. So anything that is cashmere, any brand, I'm looking it up, especially in men's. This is a men's size large. Um, unfortunately, this did have a couple of small uh, flaws that were missed. Um, but even with those small flaws, I'm still going to sell this one. I bet you I could still probably get at least 25 bucks, uh, even with the flaws on that. So if I find holes, not that we're seeking out holes, but if I find them, I usually just drop the price and get them sold. This is a very highly sought after brand during this time of the year. It is Pendleton. Their wool pieces are, uh, very well loved during the season because they're so warm and so high quality. This is their washable wool line. And this is, I believe, a men's size large zip pullover. Yeah, pullover. Um, brown has a little bit of texture here. Um, again, men's is definitely going to add value uh, to that. All right, next up, Travis Matthew. This one's definitely more bread and butter, but it is an XXL. Just a little kind of... Uh, basics t-shirt. This will probably go for like 20 to 25 bucks. Um, honestly, this brand's kind of been declining for me. Um, so I'm gonna have to really keep an eye on that, but a couple nice pairs of shirts. And I do like that they are a larger size. 
All right, this is one of our favorite brands to sell. It is Eileen Fisher. This is a size medium. Um, if you guys are struggling to sell Eileen Fisher, which I know a lot of you have said when I've said, you know, it's one of our favorite brands, then what I would suggest doing is always make sure you either A, only pick it up in larger sizes, like large, extra large, and then of course their plus sizes. Their plus sizes fly like crazy. Um, or make sure you are pairing it with a pretty substantial fabric and make sure to put that fabric in your title. So this is a linen blend little purple sweater. This would be perfect for somebody that lives in a warmer climate where it's starting to get a little bit chilly, um, but you don't wanna like sweat with a heavy knit. Um, I'm just guessing here, but probably like 30 to 35 on that. All right, this is a fantastic brand to pick up. It is for Love and Lemons. I haven't really found anything in this brand that doesn't sell well for me. I can't remember what the style of this dress was called, but I do think it's pretty sought after. Very, very gorgeous kind of mesh details on this and embroidery. Love the colors on this. Um, it has this really pretty bell sleeve as well. Um, I have sold this brand anywhere from 25 bucks uh, all the way up to like over $100. So like I said, it really depends on what it is. I can't remember what the comp for this one was, but I'm guessing at least 50 bucks for that dress. All right, this is a men's dress shirt brand that performs pretty well. Doesn't go for a ton, but it's a pretty um, solid seller, Etro. This is a men's button down striped shirt. All right, this is a brand that performs really well for me. Not showing 100% sell through rate on eBay. However, like I've said in the past, uh, it just sells well for me. So I continue getting it. It is carbon to cobalt. This brand does retail for quite a bit. So I think that's why I'm able to flip it quickly with the right keywords. This is a nice men's button up shirt. That'll probably go for 25 bucks. This is another carbon to cobalt. This one's a men's size medium, kind of, uh, it's actually plaid, but it looks like polka dot from a distance. Button up shirt, same thing, probably 25, maybe 30 bucks for that. This is a Nat Nast linen shirt. And I probably wouldn't have gotten this if it weren't for the color blocking of this because Nat Nast silk shirts are what do the best for me. But this is linen and it's got that like same color blocking like rockabilly vibe to it. That's a good keyword for Nat Nast if you ever uh, come across one of those. Um, let me see. I'm guessing probably 25 to 30 on that one. All right, this one, I don't even know how much we're gonna get for this. I'd guess probably 40 to 50. These are, just a reminder, these are, oh, my hair. These are all guesses. Like, this is just my knowledge of pricing stuff um, and similar items from memorization of, like, checking comps all the time. So I'm just kind of generating a price in my head, but I could be completely wrong. Um, so obviously do your own research, but I tend to be, I tend to be within the range um, usually. So this is Christian Audi, Audi gear. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it is the person that makes um, the Ed Hardy stuff. And this is a really, really cool shirt. I would guess at least 50 bucks for this. Um, if it's one of the more you know, rare prints, if not maybe over a hundred dollars for that, uh, snap shirt, but yeah, you can't beat like men's Ed Hardy stuff. So I don't know, but I have a good feeling about that one. All right. This is another Travis Matthew. This is a men's size extra large shirt. This is probably another 25er. This is Peter Millar. This is also probably another 25 bucks men's little multicolor uh, plaid multicolor for me has been performing really well. Um, just in general, anything that looks kind of rainbowy, I don't know why it's been performing well. Sometimes I put rainbow in the title. All right, next up is a Robert Graham men's shirt. I do like selling Robert Graham. Some other stuff, you know, sells for a lot more, like their flip cuff pieces, but stuff like this I still like to get. Um, this is a 2XL men's multicolor feels linen-y short sleeve shirt. I don't know on that one. I don't think I've ever sold a linen one like that. I would guess probably 35 on that. Fair T, another one of my favorite brands to sell, especially in men's. This is a men's polo shirt. I'd guess 25 to 30 on that guy. 
Tommy Bahama 100% silk. We try to get this in larger sizes or really nice prints. This one is a pineapple print. So I thought that that one is a little bit more rare and would do pretty well. Um, probably around 30 on that one. All right, this is a good brand if you guys don't know about it, Dixon. Um, their flannels do really, really well. And I just learned that they actually make women's flannels too, because I accidentally listed one as a men's when it was women's and got corrected. Um, but Dixon is a fantastic brand to be on the lookout for. Two X's, um, if you guys are just listening, this is a, I believe a men's, yes, a men's polka dot shirt. Um, not sure on the sell to rate of the non flannels, but that brand is very, very popular. All right, this is a Polo Ralph Lauren men's larger size shirt. The larger sizes in Polo by Ralph Lauren, even the modern stuff, tends to flip pretty quickly for me. And this has the big horse logo as well. It does have a spot on it, so I am going to have to keep an eye on that. But it's got that like rugby look to it, um, which generally adds some value. Um, I don't know. I'm guessing probably 35 on that. Um, here's another one not as colorful but the big pony logo and a larger size all right next up is a sun cell must be like a upf thing men's sun cell cool great outdoorsy brand to get men's button-up shirts um, i would guess 25 to probably 35 on that Here's some women's stuff. This is a good one for Hawaiian stuff. It is Jams World. Some of their stuff is very, very rare um, and you can actually get quite a bit for it. Not sure about this one. This is a size small. It is a little mini dress in this really gorgeous all over floral, kind of like watercolor pattern. No idea on that. That's one of those brands you kind of have to do a Google lens and see if that print is more rare. Um, I don't know, I'd guess 40. This is a collaboration um, that is newer to me. It is DVF, which I think is Diane von Furstenberg, in collaboration with Anya. And this had some pretty good comps. This is a men's button-up shirt. Really nice graphics on this and color. I honestly don't know on that collaboration, so I'm just going to skip these on telling you guys what I think because I really don't know. All right, next up is a brand that performs really well for me, especially in larger sizes. This is a Soft Surroundings Women's Extra Large. Very nice tunic top, um, florally neutral color. It's a little pop over. Um, this is a brand I usually look up the style names on, so I'll have to do that, but I would guess probably 30 to 35. This is a fantastic brand to be on the lookout for. It is APC. Um, this is probably... I honestly don't even know how much this goes for. Some of their stuff can go pretty pricey. This is a kind of like a, I don't know, would you call it sp not space dye, marled knit maybe? I don't know. There's little flecks of multicolor in it. I'm guessing 50, but I could be way off, way off on that. But I do know APC is a pretty good brand. All right, next up, this is very ornate. This is soft surroundings also. This is not a larger size, um, but it does seem very unique. So we got it size medium, kind of like a little, kind of looks like a bolero, uh, little cardigan. I'll probably use the keywords like mother of the bride or wedding guest or something like that. Um, I would guess probably 30 to 35 on that one as well. All right, this is a great brand to look for in the winter time, especially it is Icebreaker. They're like uh, wool base layers, and this is their cool light women's long sleeve shirt. Not sure on comps on that, but I would guess at least 30. All right, this is a bunch of Pendleton. Again, you know, really popular brand right now, especially in the men's department. Pendleton men's trail shirt. Um, this feels like a wool flannel. I'm not going to pull everything out for you, but men's trail shirt, I would guess probably 40 bucks and higher for that. This is pretty good bread and butter during this time of the year. It is LL Bean men's, um, like flannelly shirts. This is a size large, specifically in the larger sizes. That's probably 25, but again, good bread and butter. 
Another Pendleton, this is Sir Pendleton. Men's size large. This feels like wool uh, plaid shirt. Again, probably at least 40 on that. Another Pendleton, this was a good batch. Sir Pendleton plaid, again, wool blend, men's plaid shirt, 40 and up, I would guess. Another Travis Matthew men's polo, 20, 25 bucks. This is a Lily Pulitzer. I think I showed this in a work with me video. It is a Lily Pulitzer bed sheet, which like Lily Pulitzer anything. You guys know I'm probably going to get it. It's just a really high performing brand for us. We do like selling um, linen stuff, which I think I think might surprise some people. Um, but I do glance every time I'm in the thrift store. I'll just kind of glance over the aisle because there are some very valuable blankets. Um, you know, curtains and stuff like that. And there's so few, in my opinion, the ones I know about, few brands um, to look out for that it's really easy to just kind of glance, see if it's the brand and move on. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, here's another Pendleton, Sir Pendleton men's thicker plaid shirt, 40 plus. Here's another men's carbon to cobalt. This is a little plaid flannelly shirt probably 25 bucks on that okay this is really cool something else i like getting during this time of the year is really interesting sweaters they have to have like i feel bad because sometimes i say that and then someone will either send me on instagram i'm tripping over cords down here that's what i'm doing um someone will send me a message on instagram and be like i got this sweater because it was crazy and wacky and it's like you can't just pick up every crazy, like wacky, thick knit sweater you find. It's got to have like an it factor. I don't know how else to explain it other than it's got to have like a good gut feeling, good subject matter, look really unique. Um, but you don't want to pick up everything. But if you have a good gut feeling about it, it's definitely worth it. Uh, this is called Paris Sport Club. And I had a good gut feeling about this one. This is a really gorgeous uh, vintage cardigan with some really pretty like fair aisle details. I think these are, uh, I don't know if these, I think they're just supposed to be like pine trees. It's kind of hard to see, um, but really great colors. And it's got like the bishop sleeves here um, and it's all over cable knit. So a keyword I'm probably gonna use is fisherman sweater. Um, but this one for me had the it factor and I usually price them kind of high around $50. So that's probably where we'll price that one out. Nikki must have decided on this one because I don't recognize this brand rolling hard uh, made in USA men's extra large shirt I honestly have no idea this could be a huge bolo but we got it must have been a bolo or we wouldn't have gotten it because I know Nikki probably doesn't know about that brand so she must have looked it up all right another Joss A Bank men's size extra large this one is uh, a 100% Italian cashmere v-neck sweater. I would guess 35 on this with it being a v-neck and a size extra large. All right, this is another cashmere sweater, Luigi Baldo. This might be a huge bolo. I'm not really sure. Like I said, I'm not the one who picked up all of these items. Size extra large men's v-neck sweater. I'm guessing this is kind of an expensive brand because it's made in Italy, which is, you know, a pretty good indicator. I'm going to guess 40 on that one, but I could be wrong. All right. This one is a larger size men's Tommy Bahama silk shirt. Um, we are definitely going to be prepared when spring rolls around with the silk shirts, um, but this is a really nice collar. Like I said, larger size. It does have some like palm tree embroidery too. So um, probably list that for 25 to 30. Another carbon to cobalt men's item. I'll probably list this one higher just because it's a little bit more substantial around 30 or 35. Size large Henley sweater. And this isn't made out of anything special, but it is super soft and we'll probably price it up because of that. This is a foot joy men's polo. Um, little bit of drop on sell-through rate with foot joy around this time of the year because people aren't really golfing 
in the cold as much, but you know, there are still some places where you can do that. Um, this is a larger size and I would guess 25 bucks on that. Um, here is another one in gray. All right, we're getting towards the bottom of this. This is Vince. This is a brand I do pretty much exclusively get, I'm gonna call it a seasonal brand in fall and winter. Um, in summer and spring doesn't really perform well for me, but fall and winter, it does tend to perform well. This is a men's size extra large Henley shirt. And I like getting men's for sure, but the women's, if you compare it with a nicer fabric, it, it tends to perform well during this time of the year. All right, I don't know what this is. St. Andrew's Lynx, the Tartan collection. This looks expensive, but I'm not sure. I would guess a $40 polo, but I'd have to look into it. Golf embroidered here. Really nice colors. It's like a blue and a gold. Really interesting. I'll have to look that one up later. All right, this one is a definite bolo. Very good sell three on this brand, Buttercloth. This is a men's 2XL uh, button up shirt. I'm not gonna unroll that one. So I'm running out of space here. Um, but Buttercloth for sure has some really great comps. All right, here is another Vince men's item. This is a size extra large men's polo shirt. Probably 25 to 30 on that. Maeve by Anthropology, size medium, embroidered, really gorgeous. Pink top, probably do a style number search on that, um, but I would guess probably 25 to 30. Just noticed a little spot on this. It's kind of hard to see. Let me throw that over there. All right, next up are a pair of men's Levi's. And these are the 550s and they're in a very large size. So that must be why we got them. Men's Levi's jeans in almost anything perform very well for me. It's just, I can't usually get them cheap enough to justify purchasing for resale um, because I can usually only get them for like nine bucks minimum. <laughs> at my local thrift stores and it's just not enough because a lot of them only sell for like 20, 25 bucks, but they do have good sell through rates. I would guess those are probably gonna go for 25 to 30. All right, this is a very interesting structured double-breasted blazer with a plaid print. What are you? Oh, it's Brioni, that's why. <laughs> Wait, is it? Yeah, by Brioni for Bernini. So Brioni is a really good uh, men's blazer company. Highly recommend keeping your eye out for that. This one's kind of fancy. I don't know what that will go for, but in the past, my Brioni blazers have gone for hundreds. So we'll see on that one. Is this another one? It's another blazer. No, this can't be. Okay, this is Peter Millar, which is you know also really great. Um, I would guess probably close to $100 for this. It's very nice quality, good colors, plaid. Seems like it's a larger size too in Peter Millar stuff, especially in blazers. Um, comps really well. Another blazer. I feel like I hit the men's jackpot on this. Oh, this is a Hugo Boss men's blazer. Not 100% sell three on the men's Hugo Boss blazers. However, comps do look pretty good um, for the ones that do sell. So we're willing to sit on them a little bit. This one's got some gorgeous plaid to it. Very bright blue and red. Um, I would guess probably 50 bucks on that. All right, here's another Pendleton piece. This one is a size extra large. You can tell it's vintage dead stock, meaning it's vintage, but it has a tag. Uh, sweater vest. This one does have a little uh, spot on it, but still gonna sell it. Somebody might wanna spot treat that. Gorgeous color too. This looks like it's a men's possibly. No, it's a women's, it's a 1X. Hmm. Pendleton larger women's sizes stuff performed really well for me. Um, I'm guessing probably at least 50 bucks on that. And last item, I really love selling this brand as well. This is a Sundance, looks like it's new without tags. Women's size 10 velvet jacket. 
Sundance velvet stuff performs extremely well for me. So I would imagine in a jacket, this is going to do fantastic um, as well. So very excited about that. I'd guess at least 40 to 50 bucks on that, but probably more. All right, okay, so that is the wholesale haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know what you guys think of these pieces. Um, great wholesaler. Thank you so much if you're watching for sending us these pieces, but very excited to get these listed. Um, good mix of, you know, really on trend for the season. And then a couple pieces that, you know, we might have to sit on for a couple of months or they might sell to somebody in a warmer climate. We do sell internationally, um, but if not, I'll be stocked up and ready to go for spring. So I'm excited about that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, um, if you would like to test out your first order for Giara Pack, there is a coupon code for your first purchase down below. And like I said, they have ridiculously low prices. Very streamlined, clean and simple. So go check them out using the links below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.